Okay, so I have my walking pad here. And what I've been doing is three times a week, I've been walking on it for 30 minutes. So today is that day. And I'm going to take you guys with me. If you want to join in, and if you have a walking pad or treadmill, go ahead and hop on with me. If not, you can always walk in place. Let's get started. Okay, so I, I put my watch on so I can track how many steps I'm taking. So let me get started. I'm going to press the on button. Okay, so it's on the lowest speed. So let me speed it up a little bit. And I'm going to do this for 30 minutes. Hopefully you all have... I don't go at a real fast speed. Just, you know, a steady pace. And I do this for 30 minutes, three times a week. And I've noticed a really big difference in how I've been feeling, my energy level. I've been doing this for about five weeks now. So. I was going to do a live video, but sometimes my um, Wi-Fi kind of glitches, so I decided to just record and have you all come along with me. And if anyone has done this, that you've walked or do cardio for weight loss, let me know in the comments. So I've been doing cardio and then I've also just recently started um, weight training. I, um, I have a set of adjustable dumbbells and I've just been working my upper body and then probably starting next week I'm going to do my upper body and my lower body too in addition to walking on this walking pad because I'm tired of being overweight <laughs> Like I, I've said in other videos, I have no excuse. I can take 30 minutes three times a week to work out. So. And like I said, I've noticed a difference. So I have lost weight. I haven't been on the scale this week, but I know I was doing this with some intermittent fasting and I had lost like four additional more pounds with the intermittent fasting. So, and I really haven't kept track how much weight I've lost. The last time I checked, it was like eight and a half pounds. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> And I'm not going to get on the scale every day. I'm not going to do that. So I'll probably check once a week, most likely every other week I'll check to see how much weight I've lost. And then also with my fasting, I <clears throat> I do a 20 hour fast 
and then I think eating like whatever I want so I am going to change that uh, I'm going to start reducing my carb intake and cutting out the sugars so because I have done low carb diet in the past and I lost a ton of weight a lot of weight doing that so and I know for me weight loss for my you know for me losing weight in the past like when I did low carbs before I didn't work out I just did low carbs so but now I'm going to do it differently because I want to tone and just feel more healthy. So I'm going to do, you know, watch what I eat, watch my diet and work out. But intermittent fasting, I, I did it yesterday through today. I actually didn't do 20 hours today. I did 18 and a half hours but my my um, goal is 20 hours so Sunday through Monday I did not fast but I did fast on Friday Friday through Saturday and Saturday through leading into Sunday and I will do the fast again tomorrow and Thursday I don't fast when I'm working because I know I just can't do, I'm not saying I can't do it I'm just not there yet so and my job can be stressful so and I, I don't want to just be focusing on food while I'm at work so and like what time I can eat what time I can break my fast I don't want to focus on that I want to focus on my job so So after Thursday, I'll do the intermittent fasting again, Monday leading for Tuesday and Tuesday through Wednesday because I'm off next Tuesday and Wednesday. So, And then next month, I'm going on an Alaskan cruise and I'm not going to fast on that cruise, but I am absolutely going to that gym. It's, it's a seven day cruise. I'm going to that gym three times a week and for 30 minutes, I'm going to walk on the treadmill or the stepper or whatever they have. It's a pretty big ship, so I know they have a treadmill on the ship. Or if not, I'll just walk around the ship. So. <laughs> I might do both. I might just walk around the ship for 30 minutes or go to the gym and do the 30 minutes on the treadmill. It'd be nice if the gym had windows so I could look outside. So, especially with an Alaskan cruise, an Alaskan cruise is definitely for the scenery. So, that would be awesome. And I'll record it. I have, um, I actually have a travel YouTube channel that I've been posting my travel adventures on. I do a lot of solo travel. Not all the time, but I do like solo travel and solo cruises. So I've been posting on that channel. And I've been using the castor oil. I still use the castor oil. I have noticed a big difference, especially with being regular. <laughs> I'm definitely regular now with the castor oil using that. And I really like the castor oil videos I made because I have received so many interesting comments from people 
about their experience using casserole. It's very interesting to me. So. So when I first started using it, like the first week, I used a CPAP machine and I broke out. I haven't broken out in blisters from the CPAP since the very first time I used it, what, almost six years ago. So I did have a reaction with the casserole and my CPAP, the, the plastic, and I broke out in blisters like here and right here. So I stopped using the casserole on this part of my face and then after the blisters kind of healed up, it left some discoloration here. So I said, well, let me just put some castor oil here on that discoloration and see what happens. And it healed the breakout that it caused. <laughs> so, so now I've just been using the castor oil here, up here on my face, my hands, my thighs, a little bit around my navel. Well, in my navel, just like a little teeny tiny drop a little bit on my abdomen, my thighs, and my feet, and my hands. My hands have gotten so soft from using that castor oil. And I just use a little bit, I don't slather it on because it's very potent, so a little goes a long way. <laughs> Taking, I'm posing for my thumbnail. <laughs> I know you shouldn't do thumbnails that way, but I'm doing it that way today. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just having fun. If you all are a YouTuber, you know what I mean. So. <laughs> Yeah, so my schedule's been from walking on the walking pad Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then I will um, go ahead and, and increase it. I was going to increase it this week and do four times, four times a week and then three times a week, but I just didn't do it yesterday. <laughs> I didn't, so. And then like this Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule has been working well for me, so. But I will go ahead and increase it to every other day, basically. So it'll be three times a week and then the next week will be four. And then I don't have a schedule yet for lifting weights. What I've been kind of doing is after I get on the treadmill for 30 minutes, I've been doing um, just a little bit of light lifting with the dumbbells. So. Okay, so I've been on this treadmill, well, this walking path for over 13 minutes. My goal is 30. If you guys have joined me, hang in there. We're almost halfway through. And like I said, you can walk in place. If you don't have a treadmill or a walking path, just walk in place. And you don't even have to do 30 minutes. You can just do what you can and work way up to 30 minutes, so. And 
And as you see, I don't go fast on this on this walking pad, so. My lighting is okay um I did take a photography course and I got to the lighting and I didn't finish that part <laughs> I only finished like the first part so hopefully my lighting is okay I need to go ahead and finish that course so I can learn fully about lighting because I know lighting is very important so and sound too and it's ironically I don't have I do have a wireless mic, but I don't have it on. So hopefully you all can hear me. <laughs> so, Because <laughs> I'm recording on my Sony. And of course it has a microphone, but I have the camera kind of a little bit further back than I normally would. So <clears throat> I need to get one of those. Um, I And I have a, a microphone that I could use. For this camera I'll have, to, I'll have to hook that up not right now but for next time or i have another camera that comes with a wireless microphone i'll just use that camera probably and just pop the mic the microphone on i like a lot of gadgets as you all can see i like camera gear and all that Because I do a lot of recording, um, social media recording, especially for my other YouTube channel. So I have uh, three more YouTube channels, but my one main channel, I do a lot of recording for that. So then after I do this, after I work out, I'm going to hop in the shower and then I'm going to do a talking head video for my main YouTube channel. <laughs> so, that's the life of a content creator. But I work part time too in healthcare, but my passion is content creation. So. What I like about this channel is I just kind of post like whatever is on my mind um, different you know different topics is not niche down my other three channels are definitely niche down this one isn't and I don't think I'm going to it is lightly I kind of talk about like things I buy things I use how to use things but it's really, I could niche it down a lot more, but I'm not going to, so. So it's gonna be about everything. <laughs> I guess you could say it's a lifestyle channel, so. Okay, so I've been on the walking path for over 18 minutes, so we're over halfway through <clears throat> the workout. And then I've talked about this before um, on Facebook, but not, probably not on this. I definitely believe in manifesting I follow Sammy Ingram her mom Marsha and her two coaches Marsha and Nikki and me actually being on this walking pad is a manifestation because I did not work out before guys as I told you when I did low carbs before I didn't work out because I didn't like working out but I have been affirming that I want to be healthy and then 
I've been having a lot of inspired action to start working out. Like to even buy this walking pad to buy some and buy weights and to actually do it, actually, to actually work out. So that's a manifestation that came through for me. So I'm not a teacher, I'm not a manifestation teacher. I just follow manifestation, the law of assumption. And a lot of times what I do is while I'm walking on this walking path, I do robotic affirming, which is saying an affirmation over and over and over and over and over again while you're doing, while you're not like doing an activity that you're concentrating on doing. So like for me, I'm not doing it now because I'm recording, but if I wasn't recording, I would definitely be robotically affirming while on this walking path. Because to me, it's a perfect time to, to do your affirmations. Because for me, I kind of zone out a little bit. You no, know, I zone out a lot when I'm on the walking path. And that's a perfect time to affirm for me. It's, it puts you, um, to me, it puts you in um, sats, say it akin to sleep. Like I said, I'm not a manifestation coach. Follow Sammy Ingram, you know, Nikki. Hers is, um, uh, I think type in manifest for me. She changed the name of her channel. Type that in, her channel should pop up. Marsha Frame, that's Sammy's mom. And then your thoughts create is Flossie's channel. And then of course, if you type in Sandy Ingram, then her channel will pop up. They can tell you everything I'm talking about, they teach. And I just follow their teachings. And things have been happening. Oh my gosh, man. Goodness. So much I'll have to um, make a list of things that I've manifested since I learned about law of assumption. Consciously manifested. So it's been almost 23 minutes on this walking pad. What I do is 30. So we're almost there. Oh, I'm sweating a little bit. Oh, but it's kind of warm in this room though. I usually, I have my window open, but I usually have my blinds open. Um, I don't have my blinds open, so the air isn't really circulating in here. But that's okay, because I'm getting ready to get in the shower after this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, 24 minutes. I 
actually have a fan right here, but I don't want to turn it on because I don't have a microphone on me. So, <laughs> and I know that fan will just distort everything noise wise. So yeah, I'll definitely record this with my other camera that has the external mic. Okay, 25 minutes guys. Five more minutes and we're done. I'm going to speed it up one more actually. If you're walking with me, how are you feeling right now? We're almost done. That 30 minutes goes by so fast. One more minutes and we're done. Two more minutes. Almost there, less than a minute to go.
Okay, we did it. 30 minutes. So I'm gonna turn the walking pad off. I just hit the remote here, hit the off button, and it slows down. And now it's off. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to do a little bit of the weight training, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video for now because I'm warm, it's hot in here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, enjoy your day.